Hey, hey everyone, it's me, Thinkifer! Words are always important, and in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, and pretty much the entirety of the Zelda timeline, it's certainly the case. Now I've got a theory here, rather swift one, but before I dive knee deep into it and get tongue tied, because, you know, words are hard, I need to give Game Over Jesse a massive shout out for this, as this theory is built off his translations video, link in the top right, and you can watch after, but effectively, I want to talk about one specific translation. I, Ta, Ryu. This, when broken down in Jesse's video, translates from Japanese across to English as meeting of lovers. All credits to this translation going to Jesse's friend Zoe. Now thinkers, here's the thing. We've heard these words before in Breath of the Wild, just in a slightly different way. Reading between the lines of Tears of the Kingdom's texts found upon its twin dragon's logo, aka the Ouroboros? Uruburus, Aurora Borealis, Aurora XD Bororus? Okay, don't cancel me for that pun, please. I just can't help myself sometimes. Uh, uh, honestly, I blame this guy. Oh, also, distraction. Wait, that's the round stone tablet I was gonna talk about. Great work, Tay. You kept this video on track even after I derailed it. <laughs> Tay's our new editor and is working on this video. Thanks, Tay. Anyway, when we collect this round stone tablet's pieces, the Luralin villager known as Garini translates the Zonai inscriptions found on it and it reads, when the two become one, the shrine will appear. Thinkers, this can't just be a coincidence, could it? Well, here's the thing. The logo has two dragons with different symbols indicating two different dragons circling each other. But that round stone tablet doesn't have dragons, does it? Well, except well, it kind of does. Sort of. Bear with me. Upon closer inspection, there's two curved lines in the center. One engraved and one indented, both spiraling each other to make one complete circle. This gazed upon interpretively can be seen as the two dragons, or a step further, the two spirits or two kokoros, aka hearts, becoming one. Just like the two dragons of the logo circling each other, meeting as one. I don't know about you, but something certainly feels like it's connected. Almost coming full circle here. I mean, if you really think about it, we've had the Tears of the Kingdom logo teased in front of us in Breath of the Wild for over half a decade without ever knowing. Now, that said, in the delay teaser, we see a yellow spirit orb outside of Link floating around before wisping away back inside of Link. Thinkers, I've got a question for you. What if this orb is the spirit form of Zelda, our new companion? What if, spiritually speaking, Link and Zelda are traversing Hyrule to places like seen in the delay teaser and the stone tablet? Places in which two lovers, aka soulmates, must meet as one to gather the powers of sages or spirit maidens at ancient sites of power. Places where only the combined power of two lovers can unlock this. Like this stone tablet at Luralin we've been theorizing about. Now I recently put up a video about this tablet and the Zonai ruins behind it and how it could open up to a dungeon of sorts. Link in the top right if you want to watch it or rewatch it to further speculate upon the meeting of two lovers and the power of two as one. All of this is speculation, fun and theorizing. I'll leave this all for you to discuss in the comments below. That was a bit of a tangent, but I guess this video also kind of provided further evidence arguing Z-Link as canon. Huh. Thinkers, if you enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to support the channel's content monetarily, you can join as a member on Patreon or join on YouTube. Both will get your name in the credits and behind the scenes access. Now, before I head out, be sure to share some of that love and support around at my partner's Instagram at ElfSpringArt. Additionally, Elfie is now open for commissions publicly. So if you want something creative, Again, head down to their Instagram page. Give them a follow. Love ya, Elfie! 
Thinkers, have a big brained, funky day, and be sure to think safe out there. Bye bye.